the rare team up between Labor and the Coalition has seen immigration laws passed through the lower house in a late night sitting in Canberra last night. The result of the division is eyes 106, nose 8. The matter is resolved in the affirmative. The new laws will place strict curfews and ankle monitoring devices on dozens of former asylum seekers who were suddenly released from immigration detention last week following a High Court ruling. It'll now cost taxpayers $180,000 a month to electronically track convicted criminals in a bid to shore up community safety. The Immigration Minister Andrew Giles thanked the opposition for its support for the bill, which will protect Australians from potentially dangerous convicted criminals in the cohort of released detainees. The safety of the community was at the forefront of consideration in bringing this bill. Non-citizens who do not meet the requirements for migration to Australia will not undertake activities or engage in further offending that harms the community and could prejudice the Australian Government's ability to facilitate their removal from Australia. I want to thank the opposition for their constructive engagement over the course of today. While Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is away, Acting Prime Minister Richard Miles agreed to all of the coalition demands for tougher restrictions on the release detainees. The opposition couldn't help but sledge the PM for his absence at the 11th hour. We've seen throughout the week, uh, and especially today, um, some outstanding leadership. And the Leader of the Opposition is not here, is not here with us. Tonight. Where's your Prime Minister? Where's the Prime Minister? Where's the Prime Minister? Where's the Prime Minister?